Hey YouTube, it's my birthday! Hooray! I'm fucking old. I'm 32 years old today. So, uh, this is a physique update for my birthday. Um, I said I would do another one of these about a week ago. And uh, I started my cut January 1st. It's now May 7th, which is my birthday! I don't know why I'm doing that. So, um, 240 pounds on January 1st. Uh, I stepped on the scale this morning, and we'll take a look at that. I didn't really know how to do this, so this is me stepping on the bathroom scale, so you can all see what a way. Mm -hmm. It's 212.8. There we go, 218, 212.8. So that's, uh, what is that, 27 point, we'll call it 20, about 27.2 pounds. It was a little bit heavier than 240, but why don't we just say it was 213? And we'll call it 27 pounds. So 27 pounds down from January 1st. Uh, uh, I'm going to show off my physique right now. I don't really know where how to do it in my apartment. I don't have a lot of great lighting. So here we go. I hope I don't look atrocious in this video. But uh, as another subscriber uh, made a comment, I didn't show my legs off in my last video. So I am going to show you guys what my quads look like, what my legs look like. Um, just so you guys you know, can see that, yeah, I do in fact kind of sort of a little bit work out my legs um, but the purpose of what I do here is not to uh, do physique stuff my my goal is not bodybuilding my goal is strength so having said that what I'm gonna do after I make this video is I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna do one of my little mini meets uh, which is my three one man three attempts at back squat bench press and deadlift I give myself an hour and a half 30 minutes per uh, muscle group, or per exercise, I should say, per compound, to do uh, my three best attempts. So I'll do my three best back squats, three best bench press, and three best deadlifts. Now, I look a shit ton different than I did back in December and in January 1st, because I've lost about 27 plus pounds. Is that right? Yeah, of course it is. 27 plus pounds. Now, the question is... Hooray for that, but if my goals aren't aesthetics, they better be strength-based. So let's find out if, after cutting all that weight, leaning out for my vacation that's coming up, did I just fucking take a shit dump on my strength? And then, if that's the case, what the fuck did I do all this for? Because this isn't the goal, the goal is the strength. So let's find out if with relative strength, which I did a video on yesterday, I lost anything or I retained anything. Uh, sorry I'm in my underwear, but that's the only way I can show off my legs and my abs and whatnot. Uh, but I, I feel like, and before you say don't hack on yourself, or before you call me a big fat bitch, um, I wanted to look good on a beach. I'm not stage ready. I'm not shredded, but I'm close to where I want to be. If I had another, like, two weeks, I feel like I'd be where I want to be for the beach, but that's not life. So, enjoy the me posing a little bit. I don't know how to pose, not a bodybuilder, not a physique competitor. So I just did what I fucking saw people do in the past. Anyways, um, enjoy and I'll talk to you in a minute. Hi, buddy. You're in the video now. Hey, we're back. All right, so next step of this video is the little lifting meat thingy that I'm going to do. Uh, just so you guys know, I didn't water cut for this video. I didn't, like, do anything like that. While I have been carb cycling as part of my diet, uh, because I planned on doing a one-man mini meat, I just ate and drank my regular diet. It's about 3,000 calories a day. Uh, it was a heavy car high carb day yesterday, um, and I drink about... A, ooh, a gallon and a half to two gallons of water a day to stay hydrated just because I drink a lot of water. Um, yeah, so let's see you off you guys after the meet.
Hey YouTube, we're back. So, all the lifting's done. You just saw the videos. Uh, so, one man mini meet complete. I donned my uh, rainbow spattered whatever Mickey Mouse tank top because I love this tank top and my sock guy, which is a sock brand, uh, unicorn farting rainbows uh, socks because I love deadlifting in those socks. They give me extra strength uh, simply because uh, you better pull weight if you're wearing unicorn socks especially ones farting rainbows. So my last little mini meet I did, I believe it was in December, at 235 pound body weight, I moved 1,535 pounds, uh, which is 6.5319 times my body weight moved over the course of my little mini meet. Today at 212.8 pounds, I lifted 1,415. So I actually lost 120 pounds off, the, off of my total. So my absolute strength went down. But my relative strength went up because at 212.8, I lifted 6.6494 times my body weight. So that's 6.53 times my body weight versus today's 6.64. It's a little bit higher relative to my body weight. Uh, although having said that, according to Wilkes and the Wilkes calculation, I actually got significantly weaker despite me lifting more compared to my body weight. So... Uh, at 235, my Wilk score would have been 413.94. Today would have been 396.4. So it's gone down quite a bit. I don't know. Wilk says I got weaker, but relative to my body weight, I've gotten, I've moved more weight relative to. I don't fucking know, guys. Wilk says I'm weaker. Relative to my body weight, says I'm stronger. So the only thing to do from here, guys, is simple. Let's keep, let's stay lean. I'm going to Mexico in 48 hours, so I'm going to get a little pudge. I'm going to lose it again. Get back to this lean status that I had this morning and just build my strength slowly over time. See if I can't break that 1,500 pound uh, total at, you know, like 210, 215, which is going to be a slog. It's going to take me an ass of a long time, but that is the fun of doing all this, guys. So uh, physique update, you saw what I looked like this morning. Pretty lean, not stage contest ready. Obviously, that's not my goal because um, I wouldn't be able to have done what I just did if I was depleted and water, like I had been water cutting for days and stuff like that, I just wouldn't have been able to lift, right? Um, so relatively lean. You'll notice on my legs, uh, if you see all the veins in my legs and they're big and bulgy, uh, believe it or not, that's actually a bad uh, femoral venous return. I actually have a problem with my legs. I got uh, spot or um, varicose veins in my legs that make them all bulgy. And people are all like, oh, wow, your legs look great. And I'm like, cool, thanks. I'm glad they look good because it's actually a super genetic problem because I'm going to have difficulty when I get older due to varicose veins. Ends up making my, my legs, like the veins in my legs, pop as I get lean. But that's actually because normally little education for you your femoral um veins have a valve that just you know your heart beats they close your heart beats they close mine stay open for an extended period of time and then slowly close so that's why you get that crazy big bulge that you see um yeah well, well i know times are tough all over right shut the fuck up mark nobody wants to hear you whine about your fucking veins and your legs so that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. This kind of goes along with the whole eating like a bodybuilder and training like a power lifter. Like I said, I'm not stage lean. I get that, but I follow a bodybuilding diet. I'm lean enough for me at the moment. I think I'm lean. Fuck it. I'm going to say it. I'm lean. Um, and I'm still strong enough to be able to move some heavy weight. Uh, yeah, 1415 isn't the greatest total in the whole world, but relative to my last one, which was over 1500 pounds, I, by my body weight, I've moved more weight. Fuck it. Let's end this video here. Questions and comments down below, guys. And as always, eat like a bodybuilder and train like a motherfucking powerlifter. Hey, I'm not hooking the camera back up, so this is on my shitty uh, iPhone. 
Uh, I forgot to mention how much I lift. I think I forgot to mention what was on the bar. Back squat, my highest weight I got was 475. I hit depth, I stopped the camera. I am basically just slightly below parallel. I'm gonna fucking count it because it's my birthday and it's not an official meet. So 475 pound back squat, a 395 pound uh, bench, which is the second one you'll see. The third one doesn't count. A, my ass came off the bench and my spotter had to take about five, 10 pounds off the bar. So that shit don't count. And the final is a 545 pound conventional deadlift. Uh, for a total of 1415. Uh, yeah, uh, video. Bye.